First, pull the crown out one click. Now rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the second hand indicates the city nearest your current location. The hour, minute, and 24-hour hands will rotate to the current time set in memory for the chosen time zone. Press and release the upper right button to move the chronograph minute hand located at the 12 o'clock subdial to indicate daylight savings time on or off. If you are in an area that does not observe daylight savings time and wish to disable automatic daylight savings time updating, press and hold the lower right button for 1 to 2 seconds. The chronograph 1 20th second hand located at the 6 o'clock subdial will move to the 6 o'clock position. This indicates that automatic updating of daylight savings time is off. To turn automatic updating of daylight savings time on, press and hold the lower right button for 1 to 2 seconds. The chronograph 1 20th second hand located at the 6 o'clock subdial will move to the 12 o'clock position indicating automatic updating of daylight savings time is on. Now press and hold the upper right button for two seconds, then release. The second hand will rotate to the six o'clock position and the chronograph minute hand located at the 12 o'clock subdial will rotate to 60. Pull the crown out one additional click to the time setting position. The second hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position and the hour and minute hands will move back and forth slightly, indicating the time may be set. Rotate the crown to set the correct time for the chosen time zone. Be sure to pay attention to the 24-hour hand located at the 9 o'clock subdial to ensure the proper AM or PM time is set. Press and release the upper right button. The chronograph minute hand located at the 12 o'clock subdial will move back and forth, indicating the date of month may be set. Now, rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise to set the current date of month. Note, the chronograph minute hand located at the 12 o'clock subdial rotates five times for each change of date. Press and release the upper right button. The chronograph 1 20th second hand located at the 6 o'clock subdial will move back and forth slightly, indicating the current day of week may be set. Rotate the crown clockwise to set the current day of week. Next, press and release the upper right button. The second hand will move back and forth slightly, indicating the leap year may be set. Before setting the leap year, let's understand how a leap year is designated. Each hour indus represents the month of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Each of the three minutes past the hour indus represents the number of years since a leap year. The hour indus not only indicates the month of year, but that it is currently a leap year as well. The first minute past the hour indus indicates one year since the last leap year. The second minute past the hour indus indicates two years since the last leap year. The third minute past the hour indus indicates three years since the last leap year. Now, rotate the crown to set the current month and leap year. Press and release the upper right button. Rotate the crown clockwise to set the current minute Push the crown in two clicks. This completes setting the time and calendar. First, pull the crown out one click. Now, rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the second hand indicates the city nearest your current location. Press and release the upper right button to turn daylight savings time on or off.
If you are in an area that does not observe daylight savings time and wish to disable automatic daylight savings time updating, press and hold the lower right button for 1 to 2 seconds. The chronograph 1 20th second hand, located at the 6 o'clock subdial, will move to the 6 o'clock position, indicating automatic updating of daylight savings time is off. To turn automatic updating of daylight savings time on, press and hold the lower right button for 1 to 2 seconds. The chronograph 1 20th second hand, located at the 6 o'clock subdial, will move to the 12 o'clock position, indicating automatic updating of daylight savings time is on. Push the crown in one click. This completes changing time zone. To activate chronograph mode, with the crown in the closed position next to the case, press and release the upper right button. The chronograph second hand, minute hand, and 1 20th second hands will rotate to point straight up to 12 o'clock. Now, press and release the upper right button to start the chronograph. Press and release the upper right button to stop the chronograph. Press and release the lower right button to reset the chronograph. To exit chronograph mode, press and release the lower right button once again. The watch will resume normal operation. First, pull the crown out two clicks. Press and hold the upper right and lower right button simultaneously for four seconds, then release. The hands and date will move back and forth, indicating a successful all reset. Now, rotate the crown in either direction so the chronograph 1 20th second hand, located at the 6 o'clock subdial, is straight up, pointing to zero. Press and release the upper right button. The second and minute hands will rotate counterclockwise to show a clear view of the 12 o'clock subdial. The chronograph minute hand located at the 12 o'clock subdial will move slightly, indicating the chronograph minute hand and date of month may be set to their zero positions. Rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise so that the date is between 31 and 1, and the chronograph minute hand located at the 12 o'clock subdial is pointing to 60. Press and release the upper right button. The minute and hour hands will move back and forth slightly, indicating they may be set. Rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise to move the minute and hour hands to the 12 o'clock position, and the 24-hour hand, located at the 9 o'clock subdial, to 24. Now, push the crown in two clicks. This completes the all reset and zero positioning. You must now set the time and perpetual calendar.